How to create sequences in Apollo.ai Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create sequences within Apollo.io. This is very easy and self-explanatory. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be an expert on creating sequences. The first thing that you have to do is to sign up or sign in to Apollo.io. This is very easy and simple to do. The second thing is to go ahead to the home page. As you can see here, we are on the home page. And then you click simply on engage right here. We have sequences, emails, calls. I am going to click create sequences. Click on sequences and here we have the uh, table of sequences. Here I have already created a sequence, but I am going to click and create a new sequence. Here we have on the creation of a sequence for uh, format. We have the AI assisted. You can create a simple outbound sequence with one click. We have the preformatted. Start with one of our sequence template. We have the clone, make a copy of one of your existing sequence. And finally, we have from scratch, create a new sequence from scratch. It is up to you to choose the most suitable sequence or the method uh, that you want to use. Now, let's go ahead with the preformatted. I'm going to choose this one. Here, as you can see, we have the pre-built templates. We have the stage based targeting at its customers. Here we have some different topics. We have a lot of emails that are programmed to be notifying the team or the customers. For example, we have an automatic email on day one. We have on day four, you can preview it right here, day seven and day 10. I am going to, for example, search uh, on these pre-built templates. Uh, for event invitation. Let's go ahead for the event invitation or I tell you what, here we have meeting no show. I am going to choose the meeting no show. We have four emails with the first automatic email. Here he is called day one. Can we reschedule our call? This is for the meeting no show. Hi, the first name of the client, here the message, here also the automatic email, this is uh, the replay, and the third one, it is getting back on your calendar and five no longer interested, this is a question email, I'm going to create and customize this email simply. Here, as you can see, we have the overview of the email. You can go ahead and activate this step, for example, and also you can go ahead and activate all the steps. For example, for this one, no longer interested, I'm going to um, make a, uh, a step back for this one. I'm going to put it off because I am not sure that if the client will interact with the email until I get to the third day email or day three email. Now for the uh, emails, you can go ahead and customize it. You can put some image to the email or to the sequence. You can exchange the subject or you can exchange the content. As you can see here, we have a text editor. We can go ahead and put the text formatting. You can insert a link. You can upload an image, insert or attach a file or edit raw HTML. You can load templates or you can go ahead and add dynamic variables. Now for this one, I'm going to click on save. This sequence is inactive. As you can see, I'm going to activate this sequence. Now we have the contacts for or uh, who will be uh, attached or will be uh, touched by this sequence. You can go ahead here. We have zero contacts, add contacts. You can do a prospect searcher. You can upload a CSV file that has a contact list 
or you select a list upload prospect from one of your current lists. Or here we have this new feature, which is a automate adding contacts. You can create a play that will automatically add contacts to the sequence. That was for the contacts. For the emails, as you can see right here, we have zero emails send it. Now you can see also the activity log here uh, for each of these steps that you have. As you can see here, I turned on the sequence. I turned on the automatic email task in step one. These settings here, as you can see, you can put the name for the sequence. We can put the owner of the sequence and we can put the schedule of the sequence. As you can see here, you may edit and create or create the new schedule and click on here and you will be guided to the schedules part of Apollo and you can also modify here whatever you want. For the triggers, you can put a trigger. When there is another replay within the same account, you can do nothing, mark subsequent emails for that account as not sent, or delay subsequent emails sent in for that account. It is up to you to choose a trigger. You can mark a contact as finished in the sequence when he or she clicks on a link in the email. You can mark this on or set it off. Here, mark contacts as unresponsive if they do not reply or schedule appointment five days after the last step I'm going to put down the number of days to two days. You can go ahead and read carefully these uh, more features that we have on the settings and set it up by your own. Now I'm going to proceed or proceed to another step. Here we have the reports. You can see the reports that uh, the customers have interacted with the emails or the number of the um, sequences that have been sent to the clients or to the team. We have here, uh, here some more options. We can go ahead and clone the sequence. We can make a copy of it. We can archive the sequence if we don't need it anymore. And also you can uh, go and use this place. Here you can go ahead and work smarter and not harder as they said. You can go ahead and save time by using place to automatically target and add the right personas to sequences. When you click on go to place, here it will show you the template that we are having on the place section. We have ask happy customers for referrals, ask happy customers for reviews, automatically hit no shows, call when email is opened or clicked, congratulate recently promoted contacts, create deals when contacts is interested, and a lot of templates. Here we have 29 in total template. You can go ahead and choose one of these template and you will be good to go. Now I am going to select a template and try it. I'm going to try it here. This is the ask happy customers for referrals. I'm going to click, click on create and see what we will have. The play setup we have here. Where here we have the trigger. We have three triggers. When, for example, start, this is the date run every day. For example, if eligible, the same person should be added to this play every time. This is the action that it will be, if anyone, current here. Then take this action. This is the action that it will be taken from these two triggers. Now I'm going, for example, to cancel this play. You can go ahead and see the, all the templates by yourself and you can also see the tutorial that they have made on Apollo.io. Now let's go ahead and add a step to our sequence. I'm going back to sequences, then I will choose the sequence that we have. Then also you can add another step to the sequence itself. We have here day 5 automatic email. I am going to click on add a step. You can put in an automatic email, which is an AI available. Here you can have the help of the AI to put the automatic email. 
you can go ahead to upgrade to unlock more steps and as you can see here these steps are fully uh, uh, paid now i'm going to click on automatic email here we have when to start this step i'm going to set the amount of time i would like to wait between steps i'm going to put for example two days then i will click on continue now we have the uh, email set we can put for example the subject which is my email and or you can put whatever you want if for example reply to previous threads you can put it right here or you can put it uh, as a subject i'm going to put for example reminder to show up to the meeting for example and this is the subject hello i'm going to put hello dear for example customer or i am going to put the name of the customer like this customer uh, i am here I am sending you, for example, sending you this email to uh, remind you of the meeting that we have. We are, for example, we are going to make or to to get or to make on zoom for example let's go ahead and call this for zoom at this link and for example let's put for uh, uh, these points as a link on this on this date for example this date i'm going to put for example the 11 6 or I right, like this this is the format and 2024 at 6 for example p.m. double o p.m. and this is the email you can go ahead and put or use the AI assistance or you can put some files or make the uh, the font for example bigger you can put the text formatting you can be, make it bold or you can change the font it is up to you that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one